Hello students, welcome back to Rosie Maths class. Today we shall do question number 1 and question number 2 of figure it out given on page number 191 and that's chapter 8 playing with constructions. In our last video we discussed how to construct wavy wave. So the first question of figure it out is related to this construction. It says what radius should be taken in the compass to get this half circle. We can see here one half circle is here and one is here. So what radius should be taken and what should be the length of AX. So you must know what is a radius. If this is a circle, okay, this is a circle suppose, then when we draw a line passing through the center, this is called the diameter. This line is called the, this line segment is called the diameter and half of this diameter is called the radius. So here you can see from this point here, let's give it a name, say C. So Cx is the radius and the length of the radius is 2 centimeters. Okay, what should be the length of Ax? That is Ax is the diameter. So Ax is equal to 2 plus 2. So that is 4 centimeter. The diameter is always double or twice of the radius. This is S. So this is 2 centimeter and Ax is 4 centimeter. So that is the answer for the first question. The second question is, Take a central line of a different length and try to draw the wave on it. So we are going to draw a different wavy wave with a different measurement. So first what I will do here is I will take AB as 12 centimeters. AB as 12 centimeter, which is the central line and half of AB is 6 centimeter. So AX in this case will be 6 centimeter and I'll show you how to mark the points and half of 6 is 3 centimeters. So if you remember these points, these measurements, it will be easy for you to draw the wavy wave with a different length. This is my scale. So this is 0 here and 12 is here. Okay. So I will take the ruler like this. Now I'll do the marking of the points which is very important. So, where do I mark the points? First point will be my end points 0 and 12. Okay. This is the length of the central line. Then I will mark the midpoint. So, between 0 and 12, it's 6 centimeter, right? So, 6 here, one point I'll mark. Okay. Then the midpoint of 0 to 6. That means if I take 0 and 6, what is the midpoint? So, that will be 3. So that's why I have written 3 here. Now from 6, 1, 2, 3, 9 is the midpoint. Okay. 0, 3 centimeters, 6 centimeters, 9 centimeters, 12 centimeters. So my marking I have completed. Now I'll just join the end points and I'll show you how this is going to help. And if you have uh, seen my previous video, you already know I guess how to do it. Now I'll take my compass this is the compass I'll keep the metal point here and I will just take the measurement till here do you see here I'm taking this measurement then we will keep the metal point and draw a semicircle see here it's coming to this point it's so easy to do just you need to do little bit of calculation before you start this is done and now the same radius we are going to take and keep the metal point here and draw this side. See here it will come to the end point. Like this. Okay, our wavy wave is ready now. And you just need to draw the vertical lines and complete it. Also write the measurements and labeling. So this is A, this is X, 
this is B. If you want, you can label this as say A, B, C and D, these points. Okay. And if you want the measurements of A, B, 12 centimeter, I have already written there, see, A, B, 12 centimeter and A, C, this is 2 centimeters. Cx is also 2 centimeters. This is also 2. So th these are all 2 centimeters. That is a radius. Sorry. It's all 3 centimeters. 2 was for the previous one. This is 3 centimeters because half of 6. This Ax, the whole thing from here till here is 6 centimeters. Okay. So 3 from A to C, A to X, 6 and A to B is 12 centimeter. I hope it is now clear to you. I'll just complete the wavy wave by drawing the lines. So this part I have completed and now this one. Okay, now this is done. This construction is complete now. With this we complete question number 2 or figure it out. In the next video we will discuss question number 3 and maybe question number 4 also. Hope it's clear to all. Thank you.